Welcome everybody to Linux Academy. My name is Terry and over this course we will be covering all things Linux. Introduction to installation and setup. So now let's go ahead and, and update but what we're going to talk about is how we customize uh, Unity at a high level. Uh, there are a number of customizations that we can do some of which are built into Unity such as uh, the ability to reduce the size of the launch bar on the side and then there are others that are a lot deeper that are harder to figure out but fortunately for us uh, starting with uh, Ubuntu 1204 long-term support they've decided to begin including a tool that was developed by a third party previously called the unity tweak tool and the unity tweak tool gives us the ability to control almost all settings from themes and cursors fonts window controls hot corners window snapping etc all from within a single tool so that we don't have to hunt down where everything is which is a, a nice thing especially since uh, unity was was so new at the time they developed this tool as a as a place for all of this to exist in rather than having to hunt down where everything was so one of the places that we can do some customizations without the unity tweak tool is in the system settings we can uh, adjust things like the background appearance we can change the launcher icon size the default is 48 we can move that down and you'll see it's adjusted here in the in the the side launcher uh, we can adjust the basic theme and we can change the background we can also make some adjustments to the color to our display so it's a typical it's a very typical system setting with limited ability to make any additional changes to uh, our settings. So what we can do is we can do sudo app get install unity tweak tool which is already installed on this system but what we have then is we have the tweak tool and it comes up like this so if we explore the tweak tool now we'll see that there are a number of different options that are available that were not available in the system settings. We can cause the the launch bar to hide itself, much like uh, the Windows menu can be when when it loses focus. We can set the transparency of it. See how it's a, a, a solid bar here. We can we can turn on and off transparency. The color can be based on the wall is normally based on the wallpaper, so we have this this background, uh, the default Unity background, but we can change that to be a a a custom. It immediately turned black. I happen to like it based on the wallpaper. Animations can be changed, icon sizes can be changed, and the show desktop icon can be uh, added. Search can be customized, the search lens. The panel itself up here at the top. We can show the date and time in 24 or 48 hour format. 24 in this case. We can include seconds or not. The calendar will come up when you click on it or not. which I happen to, to like. So tweaks that are not normally available to the, the, the settings are available in this Ubuntu Unity Tweak tool. We can't possibly go over them all, but one of the, the more common ones that you'll probably use will be the theme. You can change your icons, all of your cursors, your fonts, and all of the window controls. This is the one that, that especially early on people seem to like the most was changing the default layout of the window controls so that they were either on the left which is how a lot of people were used to it or on the right which is how unity was set up we also can turn on the menu button which a lot of people like to see and we can change all of our default fonts again these would be these are all things that you could do in in different ways but they're now consolidated into a single tool for making changes. 
one of the items that I happen to like is, is I happen to like being able to download files and showing them on the desktop, which by default is off. And actually this is kind of a pain to turn on in Unity without the Unity Tweak tool. We can simply turn it on here. So Unity is actually one of the more customizable desktops as long as you use this tweak tool it's also easy to customize your desktop. Your workspace switcher can be turned on and off so that you have multiple desktops. Windows can be snapped back and forth. Hot corners for starting up uh, various applications like the screensaver. Those are all in this Unity tweak tool. Again, all of these items are available either via the command line or via settings or a combination, but the Unity Tweak tool is the way to go if you're happening to use Unity for your default desktop. That's all for this video. My name is Terry for Linux Academy, brought to you by Pinehead TV.